Yesterday, the government announced its plans to shake up education. Ministers will shortly announce also ideas to improve support for children and young people with special educational needs. Joining me now is Stephen Morgan, MP, Shadow Education Minister for Schools. Hello, Stephen. Uh, I think it's your first time on the channel. You're very welcome. Thank you, Gloria. Good to be with you. Now, special educational needs, uh, we expect, will receive £70 million extra to improve the system and end the postcode lottery in provision. The teachers' union have welcomed, welcomed it. Do you? Well, the first thing I want to say, Gloria, is I went to a really good local school and I was lucky to do so. But I, don't, I know that not every child is lucky to go to a good local school and I want every child to succeed, whatever their background and where they're from. And the white paper that was published yesterday on schools, I think, is failing to tackle the challenges that schools and children across our country face. The big proposal around uh, extending the school day, eight in 10 schools are already doing that. The recovery plan that the government announced some while ago is not delivering for children. And that's really worrying. And that's why I think the government has got to do so much better to improve the lives of young people across our country. They would say they are trying. There's huge variations in pupil attainment. More than 70% of pupils in London achieved five good GCSEs in 2019, the latest figures. But in the West Midlands, the figure was only 64%. Why do you think that big variation is? Well, I think that just shows the lack of ambition of this government. They've had 12 years to deliver improvements to education. The white paper that came out yesterday shows no ambition at all. There's so many things the government could have done and they fell. Then on send, as you say, the issues are getting more complex. Demand is on the rise. But ultimately, the government don't have a plan at all. What they're looking to do, I think, won't even address the challenges that parents and children face. On attainment, the children will send. What we're seeing is the gap is getting wider, not being reduced. And that's why I think the education is failing children and parents across our country. Let's have a look at funding. The government faced criticism for real terms funding for schools falling by 9% between 2010, when you left office, and 2020. An additional 4.4 billion in last year's spending review returns funding to 2010 levels, the, the levels that they were when Labour left office. Is that enough in your view? Well, look at what the National Audit Office have done. They've done a really important piece of research around the funding that goes into schools and pupil numbers have gone up, but funding into schools has not been matched by that. And that's a real worry. In my own constituency, we've seen that schools have really missed out on important funding and that has consequences. That means that teachers are having to buy print sticks and pens and rulers for children. That's not right in today's society. And that's why Labour's got a real offer uh, for communities and for schools. We want to make sure that there's real investment in children's futures. That's why we've got our recovery plan that's an ambitious plan to make sure there's mental health support in schools, that there's tutoring support available for those that need it, that there's a real plan around uh, careers advice, so much more that a Labour government would do. But we're starting to set out more policies in due course. And you say that you want an education system, a school system, which is properly invested in. Where would you get the money from? Well, we're obviously working out our plans at the moment, Gloria, and we will set out much more in terms of our policies as we head towards the next election. But Keir Starmer has been really clear. Under a Keir Starmer-led government, we will put children at the heart of what the government's trying to do. Our recovery plan is an ambitious plan that would make sure that children are supported in their classroom. After three years of lost learning, we want to make sure children are getting back on track and supported in the classroom. I was interested in um, a sentence that Nadim Zahawi, the Education Secretary, made yesterday. It's, it's undoubtedly true. Um, he said kids in Norsley are not less talented than kids in Kensington. They just haven't had the same opportunity. Now, that fundamental injustice has been the same whoever has been in government. And Labour didn't do enough to tackle that, arguably. Well, I think government 
Labour government did an awful lot. They invested in our school buildings. We saw significant school investment across our country and we saw a significant increase in standards. The children were lifted out of poverty. There were huge achievements by the last Labour government. I'm deeply worried after 12 years of Conservative rule that we've got inequalities across society and in our schools and the gap is getting worse and every child should have the best chance to succeed in life and that's why we've set out a recovery plan that will do a number of things to make sure children do so much better in school. And just on the news today that fines are expected to be issued, uh, the Prime Minister told Parliament all guidance was followed completely in number 10. That wasn't true. Does the Labour Party think the Prime Minister should go? Well, what's really clear now, Gloria, is the Prime Minister lied. He said there were no parties. There were the fact that fines are now being allocated to people in number 10 under the watch of the Prime Minister is deeply, deeply concerning. I think questions have got to be asked. I think backbenchers in the Tory party now need to rethink what they've been saying over the last few weeks and really consider the Prime Minister's future. I want to go back to education, if I may. Um, the government through their plans announced yesterday they want to change how school attendance is recorded. Um, they point to as many as 100,000 pupils that have gone missing from school roles during the pandemic. How has that arisen? Who are these kids? How can you just go missing? Well, that's right, Gloria. And I think the real concern is that during the pandemic, children were seen as an afterthought by this government and they weren't properly investing in our schools. There's been a whole set of chaotic announcements and decisions made that have really had an impact on children's lives. And that's why we want to make sure children get back on track with some more tutoring support, make sure that people have access to a, a good teacher in a good local school and make sure that there's really good extracurricular activities available for children. You know, we need to make sure that this generation that have been through so much are given the best possible chance in life. And that means a real investment in a recovery plan that Labour set out. Stephen Morgan, Labour's Schools uh, Shadow Minister. We're very grateful for your time. Thank you for joining us.